This is called a wave pulse, a single wave pulse. You can see that I'm sending it there and it's coming back, a single wave pulse. Uh, what I mean by the statement, a wave is a disturbance of a medium, wave motion is the motion of the disturbance, not the medium itself, has to do with what happens to that piece of tape. The piece of tape represents the medium, right, because it's on the spring. Herman, you're right there. What is the overall displacement of the piece of tape after the wave has passed by? Zero. Zero. So notice that the medium actually returns to its original state after the wave has passed by. The wave is essentially a pulse of energy that passes through the medium. In the end, the medium comes back to where it was to begin with. So notice that wave motion is a motion of the disturbance of the medium, not the medium itself. That's what that means, because the medium comes back to where it was to begin with. So notice the tape comes right back. So that's a wave pulse. I could also do periodic waves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Periodic waves, just sending periodic waves, waves periodically. That's the basic concept there. We have two major categories of types of waves. One is a transverse wave and one is a longitudinal wave. We're gonna start with a transverse wave. In a transverse wave, the direction of wave propagation is perpendicular to the disturbance of the medium. I'm going to say that again and I will write it down, so don't worry. The direction of the disturbance of the medium is perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation. So here we go the direction of wave propagation. Now we'll start with the direction of the disturbance of the medium. Class, please point in the direction of the disturbance of the medium. It is forward initially, right, away from you because it's going that way, the disturbance of the medium, and then after it runs into Sean, it's actually coming back on the other side, so you're, you have two options. It's either forward or away from you or toward you. That is the disturbance of the medium. The medium is being disturbed that way. What class is the direction of wave propagation? You have two choices, please point. To the left and to the right. I send it to the left and then it comes back to the right. So the direction of wave propagation, left, right, is perpendicular to the, the direction of the disturbance of the medium, which is forward and backward relative to you. That is a transverse wave. The other type of wave that we're going to talk about is a longitudinal wave. All the words are the same, except I change perpendicular to parallel. The direction of wave propagation is parallel to the disturbance of the medium. So how do I create a longitudinal wave where the direction of wave propagation is in the same direction, parallel to the disturbance of the medium? Kozak? I lift it up. John, careful. I do this. Unfortunately, that is still a transverse wave because the direction of wave propagation is still left, right, and the disturbance of the medium is up, which is still perpendicular. Herman. Push it forward. I could push it forward. It's harder to do it that way. I could do the reverse and just grab and pull, right? So what I'm doing here is I've created a disturbance of the medium, which is parallel to the direction of wave propagation. So if I do this and let go of it, we have what is called a longitudinal wave. Okay, so we have a wave pulse. As I said, I don't really have a definition of that. It's a single wave. We also have periodic waves, which is several wave pulses given at a specific time period. Uh, again, we're, we're gonna discuss that a little bit more when we get farther into the class. Now, we have the transverse wave. And this one is where the, the direction of wave propagation, or the direction of the travel of the wave, direction of wave propagation is perpendicular to the disturbance of the medium. A longitudinal wave is exactly the same, only you replace the word perpendicular with parallel. So the direction of wave propagation is parallel to the direction, I'm sorry, the disturbance of the medium. All right. 
longitudinal and transverse waves. 